The commander of troops for today's ceremony is the Cadet Basic Training Commander, Cadet Captain Kai Youngren from Florham Park, New Jersey. His staff consists of the Cadet Basic Training Executive Officer, Cadet Captain Kelsey E. from Knoxville, Tennessee. The Cadet Basic Training Agent, Cadet Captain Brendan Windsor from Fort Worth, Texas. The Cadet Basic Training Intelligence Officer, Cadet Captain Alyssa Carfagno from Blackwood, New Jersey. The Cadet Basic Training Operations Officer, Cadet Captain Aaron Hall from Course Gold, California. The Cadet Basic Training Logistics Officer, Cadet Captain Tessa Bomte from Folsom, California. And the Cadet Basic Training Communications Officer, Cadet Captain Russell Myers from Oak Park, California. Our day marks the beginning of the close connection that the class of 2026 and the class of 1976 will forge over the next four years as a result of the West Point Association of Graduates 50 Year Affiliation Program. This program will enable these two classes to work together on at least one significant event during each year that the class of 2026 is here at West Point, culminating when distinguished members of the class of 1976 will present graduating members of the class of 2026 with their first set of second lieutenant bars on graduation day. Lastly, we would like to welcome Mr. and Mrs. Ray and Sue Reich, the parents of whom our task force is named after. Thank you for your attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States Military Academy presents the class of 2026. The official party for today's ceremony consists of Brigadier General Mark C. Quander, Commandant of the United States Corps Cadets, Class of 1995. Command Sergeant Major Robert T. Craven, Command Sergeant Major of the United States Corps Cadets. Lieutenant Colonel Nate Conkey, Commander, Cadet Basic Training Regiment, Class of 2000. And Master Sergeant Jack Baker, Senior Enlisted Leader, Cadet Basic Training Regiment. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for honors in the playing of our national anthem. Please feel free to sing along as it is played.
please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the 79th Commandant of the United States Corps of Cadets, Brigadier General Mark C. Quander. New cadets, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and bear true allegiance to the national government that I will maintain and defend the sovereignty of the United States Paramount to any and all allegiance, sovereignty or fealty that I may owe, whatsoever, and that I will at all times obey the legal orders of my superiors and the uniform code of military justice. military justice. So help me God. So you may lower your hand. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest cadets at the United States Military Academy, the class of 2026. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 40th Chief of Staff of the United States Army, General James C. McConville. Well, well, good evening. What a beautiful night here at West Point. But I can tell you, every day is a great day to be in the United States Army because we serve with the world's greatest soldiers. And today is an especially great day because I get to be here in our day to welcome the class of 2026 and your families to West Point. How about a hand for our cadets on the top? And to the parents and other friends and family members here today, thank you for supporting these outstanding young men and women and helping them get to this moment. Think about it, just 12, 12 hours ago, they showed up here, and look at how great they look on this parade field. <laughs> Imagine how they'll look in four years. <laughs> and to the new cadets, you've only just arrived in these grounds, but you already be proud of what you've accomplished. You have chosen a more challenging path in life than most of your peers. You have volunteered to raise your right hand and serve your country to become part of something bigger than just yourselves. And you arrived here today from different backgrounds, different life experiences, and over the next four years, you will all overcome challenges together and become part of a team, the best team on earth. You will lead here, ready to lead the soldiers of the world's greatest fighting force. And it won't matter if you decide to serve in uniform for five years or 40 years. I was only gonna do five years myself, but here we are. But for the rest of your lives, you'll be able to say that you are a member of the long gray line, that you are a graduate of 
not just any service academy, but the THE United States Military Academy, the gold standard of leaders of all. Good luck and Godspeed. We are extremely proud to serve with you in our Army. It's about people first. Winning does matter, and that's how we remain Army strong. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the official Army song, The Army Goes Rolling Along. Please feel free to sing along with us as it is played. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety and for the safety of our cadets, we would like to ask that you please remain in place as the cadets march back to the central area. The march that will be played as the cadets depart is Washington Post. Company A is commanded by Cadet Captain Taylor Miller from Bel Air, Maryland. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Hoven Morris from Houston, Texas. Company B is commanded by Cadet Captain Seth Benson from West Fargo, North Dakota. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Thomas Woodbury from Keller, Texas. <laughs> Company C is commanded by Cadet Captain Thomas Farrell from Lake Forest, Illinois. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Trevor Finan from Tampa, Florida. Company D is commanded by Cadet Captain Robert Woody from Oak Island, North Carolina. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Michael LaRosa from Reston, Virginia. Okay. 
Since the days of the American Revolution, flag bearers have been an important element in ceremonies. At the center of today's formation and bearing the national colors is the United States Corps Cadets Cadet Basic Training Color Guard, led by the Cadet Basic Training Command Sergeant Major, Cadet Sergeant Major Lauren Dreisel from Irvine, California. Company E is commanded by Cadet Captain Parker Adams from Chesterfield, Missouri. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Carlos Gutierrez from Lincoln, Nebraska. Company F is commanded by Cadet Captain Cameron Geppinger from Cincinnati, Ohio. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Daniela Etzel from Millstone, New Jersey. Company G is commanded by Cadet Captain Addison Berta from Dallas, Texas. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Max Martin from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Company H is commanded by Cadet Captain Dalton Ennis from Chesterfield, Missouri. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Madeline Norris from Middlebury, Connecticut. Company I is commanded by Cadet Captain Devin Molisa from Kigali, Rwanda. The first sergeant is Cadet First Sergeant Matthew DeFratis from San Diego, California. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. We ask that you remain seated as they march their way into the mess hall. Shuttle buses to Buffalo Soldier Field will be departing from behind the superintendent's ready box until 2030 hours. Please feel free to take advantage of this service. We hope to see you back here at West Point on the 8th of August when the class of 2026 marches back from Lake Frederick culminating the completion of cadet basic training or for acceptance day parade on the 13th of August when the class of 2026 is accepted into the Corps. Thank you for attending and enjoy the rest of your day. Go Army, beat Navy.